<laughs> you better get it, Tej. What's up? <laughs> What's up? What's up, Milwaukee and the world? Welcome to another episode of Saved in the City Radio Show right here on WGLB 1560 AM, 96.1 FM. Yes, you are locked into the right place at the right time for your kingdom solutions, for real world issues, for your hot topics, for your top five you're doing too much moments of the week, yes. for your word up challenge, and everything mm. in between. We out here, and we are all we got. <laughs> that's what steven says and so yes i'm so excited you know i'm so excited every friday to be able to come and chat with the w uh well chat with the saving city crew and for you guys to listen in you know our wglb listeners we're so grateful for you folks who catch us on facebook or later on youtube um again you know who wants to talk to an empty room so we're so <laughs> grateful uh, to the folks that listen in you know uh, especially now at the at this level what what when we're on the come up hallelujah Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> that, to crazy. me, that's kind of yes. That's kind of when it matters most. Like who was listening? You know, when the millions exactly. wasn't listening. You know what Ooh. I mean? Like that Ooh. means a lot to me. So mm-hmm. I appreciate True. appreciate it. I see you. I hear you. All of that. I feel you. And so uh, you know, kind of before we do our crew check ins, which is one of my favorite parts of of the show, we like to kind of give a a loose theme that uh, kind of permeates throughout the show. And so. The theme that kind of came to mind for me, I'm calling it, or I'm saying, uh, you know, but you can put it in parentheses, it's not lost. Mm, wow. It's not lost. It's not all lost is probably what I should say. Um, and, and, you know, it's interesting because this actually came up a while ago. I, I found something that I thought was lost for <laughs> for oh, a yeah. long time. <laughs> and, and a few people that that's close to me close to me might have thought I was even thinking that they took it or maybe I okay. thought that they <laughs> you know I think T you had told me after I lost it you was like I'm not I'm not ever helping you to the car again okay. but, <laughs> because I lost my iPad y'all and it I, I had literally counted it out I was like it's done like it's yeah, over it's and I made listen y'all I made peace with it I was like oh, okay cool. that's alright I only had like two Set more payments up. left right. <laughs> I only had two more payments left it was what it was and you mm-hmm. know I was like you know, I tried to find a reason why it wasn't a big deal that it was gone and so i was like you know it's all good and i literally i stopped looking for it mm. i mm. i was good mm. moving forward there was a part of me initially where i was like dang i could have used it for this or i could have done that <coughs> or, and the yeah. other part is just that it's a it was valuable you know it was mine right. i put money into That's it right. I, I if, if i'm gonna lose it or i throw it away it's gonna be because i chose to Fact. not just because it was gone and so Anyhow, I kind of got to the point where I was just in such a a, a, a place of, of rest and ease. And I was literally in a, uh, this was during a, my 21 days of abundance. Mm. Mm-hmm. And what ended up happening, because I was just in that space of just believing God for whatever is for me, for it to manifest, for yeah. it to be revealed, for it to show up. And literally, I was reaching for something, and I kind of feel dumb, honestly, because <laughs> I was reaching for something in the computer bag that it, it had that it had been in since November. I didn't realize it. It had been with oh, me. Listen, dang. y'all. It had been with That's me a, ooh, the whole time. Listen, and so and and so there's a, a few things, and then I'm gonna I'm open it up to the crew because I feel like they feeling me on it. But uh, oh God, there was a couple, <laughs> there was a couple things that I thought I, I didn't even think about it right away. I was like, oh my goodness, okay, great. And then like the next day, I'm like, wow, you know, how many other things mm-hmm. in our lives have we buried or counted out as being done or oh. never found again or whatever it is? If it's a talent, if it's a gift that you that you had that you put on the back burner that you said, well, yeah. you know what is, you know, it's too late for that. That's okay, it's done, right. mm-hmm. it's done. That's lost. Wow. That time is lost. That yeah. opportunity is lost. You know, but or that's one one way to look at it. The other part is that sometimes we think that we we what we need is somewhere else, and we've uh, had it the, the whole, whole time. time. Oh. When I tell you, I've been looking at that iPad and getting the word for like every day. I'm like, now what you gonna say to me? <laughs> I don't. I barely even <laughs> no, use good. it now. But <laughs> but um, at the same time, I'm I'm just, it's paid off now. And now <laughs> now that I found it, it's paid off. Of course, right. you know is you know I'm like okay, well let's put this thing to use. So. You know, some of the things, uh, you guys, that you think that may have been lost, you actually may have. Th- they may be closer than you think is what I should oh. say. And I think that's a good word for today. Ooh, so let's do some. It just ain't time to show up yet. Okay. Wow. It'll mm. manifest when, when oh, you're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Or or when you're not so thirsty. Oh, 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 you hit my spirit. 
because that's what I was so desperate to find. I was like, well, oh, Lord, I don't know. I mean, I'm back to the station. I'm over there. I'm underneath the car. I'm looking at other people's stuff. I'm telling you. Relax. God got it. It's not even, you You frantic for nothing. Mm. Had it the whole time. Yeah. Let's do crew check-ins. Based I, off that. <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of where you are, was, though, too. It was something like that stood up, but now I can't remember. Oh, that's okay. The little bubble up. But just, um, well, how you doing? I am good. I'm missing that hour. I don't know why I'm missing Everybody that hour is. so bad. <laughs> I'm missing that Ava. DJ Lee with the head tilt back. And Ava. Okay. H-O-V-A. Ava. Ooh, Ava. Yes, I'm missing it. I just didn't know. I've been sleeping longer church. than I'm supposed to be sleeping. It's just, <laughs> it's just been weird. But I'm grateful. God is good. Okay, can I just say that just took me back? I know that don't have nothing to do with nothing. But when you said that, it took me back to my old church. I'm going to shout it out. Great Faith Progressive. Progressive. Missionary Baptist Church with uh, Reverend Benjamin L. Neighbors oh. as the pastor. And he used to have a, uh, a, a associate pastor that would get up, and every time he wanted, he would open up with his prayer, the Our Father with our, uh, oh. without in heaven. Uh our, our Father, with which art in heaven. I had to figure out how I was going to say it. But anyhow, so, but he would say, Abba, Father. Abba. <laughs> Abba. Abba. He would say, Abba, Father. I said, woo, Abba, Father. So that, that's a thank you. Thank you for bringing that memory back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, how you doing? How you I'm, feeling? I'm good. I was thinking about what you were saying. Like, that's, yeah. it's something about lo- losing stuff. It's always the, at the most inconvenient time, man. Mm. Like, you don't care about losing car keys when you chilling. But it's like, like right. it's always when you need or you feel you need it. And it's like God detaches us from Ooh. that need. Like, you can function without it. And I mean, I, that's that me. That's me. So it deep. hit me like, dog, I do panic quick. Like, oh, rush. Why? No. And it's like, Help, uh. and you go to the extremes. Like, who was around? <laughs> right, right. Exactly. You, you know what? She cool, but I, you know, I, I, I ain't never even. Mm-hmm. You know what? Something went right about her. <laughs> I should have never let T take my bag to the car. Okay, okay. somebody, my friends you told me. You start eyeing people, right? My friends Isn't told me. Isn't that crazy? Me. And that, that is shows so good. us at the end of that's the day, so it's like, oh, there's the mirror. That's what's really in you. Like, oh, Dang. wow. Whoa. But you know what I'm reminded wow. of, too? Not even when, like, <laughs> we lose things, like, figuratively yeah. and physically, but when things, like, are taken from you. Ooh. Like, ooh. I, it, and that's honestly what I felt. I remember, remember, I yeah. literally had a whole, y'all, sidebar, I called the police department. Had and a whole police report. Stolen. Yeah. I have a police report because I, I was that. like, okay. and, and something came up and I was like, <laughs> It said like your iPad was used last. Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, somebody Ooh. used it because it you. was in your bag. You, you I, used I, it. I used it. <laughs> somebody used Go it. Go ahead. I'm just no, <laughs> but like I remember what was this like 2000? I can't remember what year it was, yeah. but my car was stolen Jesus. and devastating enough. Yeah. But this is when I was just getting into graphics, so I had just had. Um, my parents had just bought me a MacBook. You know how expensive yes. those are. In my backpack, I had the MacBook, my iPad, and then, like, my iPod Touch. All stolen. When I tell you devastation, not <laughs> devastation, <laughs> devastation, T-I-A at the end. <laughs> devastation. <laughs> but I realized, <laughs> and I've kind of learned this throughout my life, every time something has been taken from me or when I had to start over from scratch, I always got more than I did Isn't before. Isn't that interesting? Ooh. Yeah. And, it's, and, and not even like in the sense of physically more. Yeah. It's like I learned an experience. I, I, you know right. what I mean? Right. There was I something learned else. To, yeah. Like that, I, I was really tied to those things. Like I loved my gadgets. Like that was my mm. life. That's so good because what, what it makes me think about, and then we may even go to break a little earlier just so we can stay on track with time since we started a little late. Sorry, listeners. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, what I was thinking us. about, though, we, right, they forgive us. It was like, oh, you was on? I'm driving. I'm riding somebody else's car. They just turned it on. That's Okay. <laughs> You're going to be looking for us in a minute. Please, but anyway. <laughs> but no, what? No, nah, I'm getting, getting all silly. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, what was I saying? You, who said the point and it made me laugh? Was it you, T? When stuff's Dang. taken from you. Ooh, when it's taken. When it's taken. I lost my point like trying to be funny. Like that thought is taken. Like that thought. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I think I kind of know what I was going to say. Yeah, so when it, not, not even just the taking part. It's just the when, uh, I, I think it's more to uh, Stephen's point about, or maybe it was you, Tej, where you were talking about how you learn 
kind of how to get along without it. Yeah. Like you, yeah. like you said, you were based around uh, around your life was around the gadgets. And for me, it was like I was trying to do this and trying to do that. And when it came back to me, I was grateful. But mm-hmm. I, I don't even really, I. I don't even really use it anymore, you know. Now, I'll find some uses for it now, (laughs) you know, eventually. But the other part about it was it's not even so much that I don't have any use for it, Mm -hmm. but it's like I don't have to have that. That dependence that dependency, that stre- mm. the stress that goes along with it, and go. so when I was in that whole uh, twenty-one days of abundance thing, there was a law that came up on one of the days, and it was called the law of detachment. Mm. Oh wow! And it is an absolutely mm. amazing concept that everything that you so desire, you yeah. uh, you allow it up, and you let it go. Like you, you don't mm. think that you think yeah. if I desire marriage or I desire right. wealth or I desire right. that I need to go like crazy for it. For sure. I mean, yes, you need to set a plan. And yes, you need to do yeah. some things. But really, the intention you bring up, you say, okay, you release it to God or whatever it is that you believe, and then you know. Well, listen. You yeah, and that's why people <laughs> say things like it'll happen when it's supposed to happen, or it'll happen when you stop ma- trying to make it happen. It's that thirsty piece. Like yeah. I, it really is, where you be so desperate for something and then it's be like. Then you let it go a little bit. You let that thing breathe, and it just, it comes back to you the way it's supposed to. But you to. are mm-hmm. angry when people bring up the fact that you might be thirsty. Mm. Like at least in my case, that that would tick me off. Like you don't you don't need it no way. That them comments. You're like, right. Really? Like that that yeah. would make you mad because yeah. it's like. I even make my you? own self mad when I think, girl, you're being thirsty. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm wow. be mad at my own self. Right? Like, <laughs> like well, why? You How know? Dare you? But the thing is, <laughs> I, and I think, is, is thirsty always a bad thing? Not necessarily. And that's what I was about to say. Why oh, can't wow. I be thirsty? At least I ain't thirsty yeah, after that, somebody. That, that, that means there's something missing. Right. Mm-hmm. I need to fill it, you know? And so mm-hmm. I think that's the problem mm-hmm. is that when we get thirsty, mm-hmm. it's not that now I need to fill it with whatever the thing, you know, the, I don't need to fill it with desperation. Right. Oh. I don't need to fill It's like, okay, I'm thirsty, God. So then, now we drink from the cup that doesn't run empty you know yeah. and so Ooh. and so that's gonna give you the peace that's gonna make you settle in it and say okay oh lord i'm okay i can trust you through this right that was cool. it's How gonna come back it. okay. it was, it was very good. That was good. that's good okay and and so that's a wrap we're gonna take a quick break <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back after this we coming back with uncle kurt
on FM. It's your girl Iberia and the Saved in the City radio show mm. crew. Mm. Yes, it's absolutely going down, and it is time for hot topics. Hot Get topics. Get excited. Oh, I like that. Oh. <laughs> like the hot, hot topics. Oh, that's, that's cute. That's real cute. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of hate. <laughs> I kind of hate that Kirk is in the news for, for, for cussing out his kid. <laughs> you said it so I just, I just kind of hate it, you know. He's cussing out his kids. So okay, mm. y'all was kind of talking about it off off camera too, you know, uh, uh, earlier. So for those people who don't know, Kirk <laughs> Franklin cussed out his kid. No, um, <laughs> I don't even really know all the details behind it. And honestly, I, I didn't, mean cussed out like. I'll like, oh, talk about not... <laughs> it because I can, can I be honest? I didn't I didn't listen. You didn't to listen it. to it. I, I had to, to listen it. to Please it. Please tell me. Before I listen to it, you know, I, I, I can appreciate a good tongue lashing because, <laughs> like he, cu- he cussed them out. Yeah, I can't give them out. So when I, I hear mean, if you it, I love do to it. hear it. Mm-hmm. If I'm gonna go to the altar for cussing, I'm gonna cuss. I'm gonna cuss. So I thought it was like you know a little cuss word. You know the saints think H E L L is a cuss word, oh. and I mean I, it is I, I in felt, a certain context. I felt in my spirit that it was heavy. Right. <laughs> so when I, I listen to it, cussing. I'm like, oh real. son, you cussing, cussing. Like, I feel like when the F word is in there, you cussing down. That's a tongue lashing. <laughs> Baby, you cussing down. You cussing down, and you're angered. So what? And why was he cussing him out for those people? So apparently, I listened to, um, he was on Tamron Hall this week. I did see that, too. So I just... apparently, there has been this kind of tension, and they never would really say what caused the tension. How old is the son? 33. 33. He'll be 33 Baby. this year. And Kurt is, well, Curtis. And Kurt is what, 50 in his 50s? Yep. Yeah. So this is his firstborn son. <laughs> yeah. um, he claims that his mom, mm-hmm. the, his, the son's mom, and Tammy, which is his wife, and he have a very good relationship. Yes. Mm-hmm. But he's saying that all throughout the years, they've been having counseling for over 20 years and therapy for over 20 years. He said the son has just always been disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Um, he never said why, um, but he's saying throughout the more recent years, his disrespect has become more aggressive. Mm. Um, when I hear aggressive, I think like physically violent. Um, is he? I don't know just, why I want to know. Yeah, is, he, is he short too? I don't know he's why not. that's important. He's and not. I think I looked through his Instagram because I'm like, be nose and be nose. Why does that matter nosy. to me? But that, I, I just needed that fact. Right, but I think he's like a producer too. He's into music too. But <laughs> okay. I'm thinking, this is just my theory. I think, you know, because this is the only child that he doesn't, you know, Tammy has her own kid. Right. They have kids together, him, her and Kirk. Right. Um, I think it's probably one oh. of them situations where they all live in the house together and you treat them better than me. And that's you know, the way he said he felt like they that's get the way more. He yeah, felt. you know, that's just what I thought based on the situation and you blended treat, families. You, this is what be, I feel like. You treat the whole world better than me. Yeah, that's you know how you don't. You you out everybody uncle, like, everybody cousin, everybody oh, whatever. I get you. Wow. And you you can't even call me. You can't even send me no money. You can't. Well, according to one of the sisters, like he takes advantage of that. Like oh, he uses the son? that. Yeah. For like to get money, and that's and not always over the, the years, situation. Been, yeah, because yeah. I'm sure years, Kirk wants to, wants to have a relationship with him, yeah. and that can make you as a parent. I don't know, I'm not a parent, but I can imagine that can make you as a parent would be like, I don't want nothing to do with you. Then, if you only want me for this, this, that, and the other, and I want a genuine relationship with you, um, he said if on the Tamron Tamron Hall show that they've gone one to two years without even speaking. Wow. Um, wow. So I, I think the relationship is strained because the son kind of probably just wants to use them for money. Does it? That's what it sounded. That's what it sounded like to me. And over Ouch. the years, it worked, and yeah. now it reached a boiling point. And he recorded wow. it and threatened to like. Yeah, that, there's more recording. And I say what you said off camera because you was you was asking T like would, would you know? Oh, well, yeah. Would, yeah, would you would, actually would share you, it yeah. if you caught your parent in that moment? Would you show people the recording or would you put it on social media? It depends on the situation. If I felt like, because I think the son feels like I'm going to show the world you a hypocrite, this, that, and the other. <laughs> when in yeah. actuality, I feel like he provoked that response from him and Kirk probably wasn't in the wrong. I think he really is genuinely trying to build a relationship with him. And I think he's bucking against him because he just wants some money. But I feel like, <laughs> oh, I I feel like I mean, if I was honest. in a situation with my parent and I felt like my yeah. mom was really portraying a life, or right. my dad was portraying right. a life, right. and he was not that at all to me, my family, anybody. Yes, I would. <laughs> I would post it. You f- not saying that it's right or wrong. But you are yeah. of. But you are of this new, new. Yeah. Like, but yeah. but because if you're you not go back my age, you're not finna play yeah. me. 
when you go back, my I wouldn't even. They think don't I do that. Dare. Yeah, no. I wouldn't dare. What did Destiny's Child say? Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blast you on the no, internet. No, you cover. My mama taught me better, better than, than that. that. Okay, <laughs> but but that's because we're taught to cover our parents, like not cover, like honor. Yeah. I, I, you mm-hmm. know, honor your parent. Da 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 da. Blah blah blah. And you know, even I, I even think biblically too. When you start thinking about Noah and his drunkenness. Mm, interesting point. There was a like a. Where and, and they, they he was taken advantage of right yeah. by One some son. of it right so son, so, yeah. so so that's not really new <laughs> you know right, that, you know that's but true. this is that that's an opportunity to cover your parent you know and I, even though yeah. and, and honor them I guess I, you know cover them with honor if you will but I do get it you know where you get to the point where it's like. Nah, you know, you you so big and bad for everybody. Not big and bad, but you know what I mean? Everybody right, else yeah. sees you as just being this upstanding dude. Let me show everybody you. Everybody uncle. Yeah. But you can't be my daddy. Ooh, ooh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. And I, and, and. But that, and I, that sounds super <laughs> emotional to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so yeah. for me, it does, it doesn't sound like, and I'm not saying that it shouldn't be, because it is an emotional thing. You know, they might, they might need to have an ugly cry to, man. Right. <laughs> 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 I can't, I can't, to this day, I can't watch that. I can't watch that. But, but it was, was something, it was something, <laughs> something that he said, though, because I was thinking about, um, ah, why well, keep losing my points today? But it was something, of, Lord. oh, Lord, touch me, Jesus. Because the <laughs> ugly cry threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just. <laughs> No, I got it in my head. Yes, no, I just all I see is this dude with the teeth and <laughs> yeah, the hole in the chin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we listen, I'm just I'm I've wishing learned, for the best. I've learned though <laughs> over the years the when people react to not always take it as you know, a reaction, although it is a reaction, oh, but to see saying. like why why did they do that? There's a reason why they that's, did that. And that's what thank you. That's because like, you're hurt my heart people, and soul. Like yeah. But that's they, what I'm saying. That's where I wanted to go. Thank okay. you. Because it was the hurt people, hurt people thing. Right. And so yes, if he if all he wants is money, mm. is that really all he wants? Right. You know what I mean? Yes, right. you, you get, get to because I'm telling you, we get to a point where we be good and content with what we have decided to settle. Yeah. In you know like but I'm gonna take we, the money because it's right. been 30 years and I ain't had the relationship. So okay. Give me some money. Period. Like, so we'll take that. So, but really, if we could work to get to the root of the thing, then they probably would. That wouldn't even be the issue. But again, we don't know. <laughs> I hope it work out. I mean, I think can he can he go on Oprah Masterclass or I think he needs to do. Uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes or somewhere, Yana yeah. fixed my life. I, I just want I want to know more but, about but it. The, but the question does it does it impact his witness to people? Like, but what was this general? comeback thing? though? wasn't it something else well, that he just came up? His apology. He apologized oh, and said he was. was wrong. Like he said he was wrong. I just feel like that's an, I, and I know that's their business, but that's a lot of families. That's <laughs> that is not that's nothing new. Wow. Right. Um, and no, I, and you're I right. want them to kind of. Be on display and work through it because other people really don't know what to do. They fight mm. cuss. That's normal stuff. This is light work compared <laughs> to some other families. Light work. They throw blows. <laughs> like real life. Wow. Yeah, true. True. You know what? And, and cancel culture tried to try tr- tried to silence Kurt. We was like, some nah. Reason, not, we not silencing Kurt <laughs> over. Um, he ain't the one. I'm gonna For put what? my neck on. Now, nah, yeah. if he was up at McDonald's saying that's a stranger, talking then. to his thirty whatever year old son, like. Let's do I mean, I get it. I mean, because, I mean, if you, like, biblically, like, yeah. James 3, should bitter and sweet water come out the same That's cup? good. I right. get that. That's and good. And then it's right. like, blessings and cursings out of the same mouth. This shouldn't be named among you. I get that. Mm-hmm. But everybody's on this different path in terms of, like, what is what does arrived look like? You know what I'm Whoa. saying? Whoa. Like, name somebody who you know is like, the one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah. it's, it's like... I see where people were upset with him, and I get it. But I think as Christians in this world, like, we've lost our authority to judge like that. Shoo, we just yeah. lost it. Because, I mean, every week we do the doing too much, and there's people tripping. Yes, and like, like doing real crazy can stuff. Can you really check other people? Like, <laughs> can you? <laughs> Man. I don't mean everybody wants grace until it's in, until it's your turn. Dude, like, you know what I mean? that. Like, give me grace, that. but I can't extend on. There you Ooh. go. Wow. Come on. Ouch. If, we, Ouch. if we record it. Ouch. Y'all conversations, it's the, it's like racism. racism. That's how my pastor. Just, that is so good. Racism. racism. Oh, right. Like, Pat no. Net, Pat net. Like, Hashtag racism. Get no. racism. It's for no. me, but you can't get no. We, I'm going to redline you out of this. Wow. Like, I'm going to cut you out. I'm going to put up some policies and rules in my life to cut you out of my grace. But we always judge it based on something that we're not doing. Right. Like, we may have something. 
but you're doing it's like I'm not that's doing the way we that. Just like, at least, no grace for that. Like, oh, you fornicating? She ain't married though. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, yeah. That's so good. That that's so good. I, I mean, I, oh my goodness. Listen, I'm dealing with my own stuff. I just be like, hey, right. touch him, Lord. Touch brother Kirk, Lord. I guess back to Stephen, but back to Stephen's point though that you know the bitter, the sweet, and all of that stuff because. I think it's I think it's like you like T said it was the heaviness of the curse it was and wrong, wrong and how lashes. flowing it was which means that this don't just come this ain't the first time this done flowed out so easy that that that's the that, part where it's there like you uh, there I just, you go I feel I like agree. it was hey I come from a <laughs> I come you, from a strong but you family said you come from lashes. a custom family though yeah. that's different so even if I ain't custom twenty years if the right situation <laughs> happened I'm gonna so put that right thing together. Say, Listen, Dude. Dude. I'm gonna put that thing together so good you're gonna thought it was a sailor child. You know oh, that's good. But oh my goodness, I can, we can leave this. <laughs> that's so good. We can definitely leave that that particular hot topic on racism because that is That is dude, you need that's, to That's woo, that's you need fire. To do something on that one, man. Baby, let yeah, I need to think on that again. Christ yes, man. that's amazing. Woo. Make Grammys, let's move. Yeah. You know, I think Kirk has won some Grammys in his life, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I think he might have won something this year. I he, I he, he probably did. did. Holding down the hole for it. So Grammys, there's so many, so many. Well, there's a couple different. We could talk Beyonce and Meg Thee Stallion. I know the church folks like why, why? <laughs> but because if we're thinking about okay, this is Women History Month, yeah. right? Yeah. And mm-hmm. so Beyonce mm-hmm. won. I think it's like the most Grammys she the, tied the, with. Do you know who? You remember Quincy? Who? Might well, be Quincy oh, Jones. Quincy Jones, uh, right? Oh my goodness, that's huge. You know, because I mean, Quincy, he, he comes from movies, songs, right? He's been decorated for he had to go to a million for like things. two decades, yeah, seventies like and eighties. Yeah. So for her to do that in half the span of time, Good I point. think it's Good point. I think it's wow. really amazing for her. And so it's like, how can Beyonce level up and then she does? You and know, what's crazy is somebody put up a, a status and said, y'all, I just thought about it. We only see Beyonce when she's making history. Like, you know what I mean? She only mm. pop out when she's about to do something Maybe major. That's how I feel. That's and she go back be. into her life. Yes, like, I love I'm, that. I'm not a fan and I had to post it. I was like, you got to give credit where credit is due. Yeah. It's like, you didn't have to it. say you have, we're not a fan, but I'm that's not, cool. Not, right. Um, because and I'm you not, can act the like, stage I'm left. Not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I mean, I love her speech, though, when she because I think. The Grammy that did it was for the song Black Parade, which was she said she made to um, celebrate black people during 2020. This was when, you know, yeah. the riots and the protesting was happening and we were just black mm. people were sick and tired. That's really what it was. Yeah. Um, and That's she true. said that artists, she feels like our, our duty as artists mm. is to reflect the times. It's she true. said that's what she wanted to do last and year with the does. song. And the song is. People might have their own reservations oh, about it, but it's just uh. ooh, it make you just proud to be black. Yes. I love Beyonce. <laughs> I think that was along with Blackest King. And then, you know, her daughter was the first child to win a Grammy, the youngest person ever to win a Grammy. Oh, well, why? Brown skinned girls. She wrote that? She sings at the end of it. She won it for that? Um, okay, praise God. Well, the song got it. <laughs> so you know how stuff go. Like, if I make an album and I feature oh, you on then it, everybody you was get like, a Grammy. Because I remember the little piece that she sang at the end. Child, she, get to, she gets a Grammy. Wow. Okay. All Just right. So let's. Uh, <laughs> well, yes. Come on. We're going here, Blue. Okay. So <laughs> listen. So you know, because we we have to give the the, the worldly folk <laughs> the acknowledgement. But this is kind of the cool opportunity. You know, being a you know a, a faith based show that we can really give honor where the Christian music uh, uh, comes into play. And so mm-hmm. we don't all you don't always hear that across the the radio right, airwaves. Right, right. And so best contemporary Christian music performance and song was uh, there was Jesus by Zach Williams and Dolly Parton. Okay, no, no, wait a minute. How the, did Dolly decide she wanted to slip on into Christian music? But you know, I get it. Country, Country and, and Christian. Is, uh, tell a story. Testify. Testify. Okay. Best Roots Gospel album uh, was Celebrating Fisk, mm-hmm. and that was by the Fisk Jubilee Singers. Mm-hmm. Best Gospel Performance Song was Moving On Yay. by Jonathan McReynolds and Molly right. Music, All one uh, right. two of my absolute favorites. Uh, best Contemporary Christian Music Album was Jesus is King by Kanye West. I got he reservations. Wins. I got he issues. Whatever. He, he has, speaking of Golden Touch. Yeah, I have issues. Right Not no, necessarily no. about no. that, but yeah. just it, but have with you the Grammys. To the album? And, I love the album. I'm going to be honest. I love the album. I have to admit. It, it, but well, I feel ahead. like crossover artists always get the upper hand. So when you think about oh, yeah. people who've committed mm. their lives to gospel music, there should be categories that celebrate them. You know what I mean? I like you. it needs to be more specific. That's in why the we categories. have Stellar Awards. Yeah, <laughs> but then you but then you think about it, yeah, it's a Stellar, it's cute, but I really want a Grammy. Right. And you think about the the, the category. <laughs> if you put a Kanye West in the category with them people, 
singing gospel all their life. He gonna win because he has an audience that's bigger than. Yeah. So he needs to be in a different category. And I just, I just feel like that. That's because the same thing with PJ Morton. He's a crossover artist. Yes. Yes. Um, not saying that he oh, didn't he have got, a really and he good. He got best gospel al- album. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. gospel according to PJ. <laughs> and it was like Kier on there who actually knocked Kanye West out of the, you know, the top number one gospel album when she dropped her stuff. His mm-hmm. stuff was at the top for how many ever weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And she she had a really good album, yeah, but you know, season. she didn't win. It's yeah. a thing, you know, it's a thing when you think and this is why people will choose secular mm-hmm. music, you know, in terms of like as a career over uh-huh. gospel yeah. because they you don't you don't always get the same notoriety and in, in the way that yep. the world sees as being successful. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, but And it's not about the awards, but it'd be nice to get a Grammy. Yeah, it'd be like nice. Said, but in Kanye's case, the fact that it's reversed because it's like in the same week now yeah. he's yeah. considered the richest black man yes. in the country. And it's like, wow. You know, I just say what profits a man. Okay. Oh. And uh, that's what it, you know, that's what it comes down to. So I, I mean, we celebrate them and but I'm never going to at least that's my prayer that I never get to a point where I'm like, "Well, dang, you know, uh, they got it better." Like, no. Nah. <laughs> okay, cuz uh, he's going through a divorce this true, week. It's been true. final. So, it is a, you're I just, right. I, why do I slightly feel happy for Kim even though I know people say that I'm so happy for Kanye. Don't get me started. That's why I say people dash feel like <laughs> happy. <laughs> I well, think, I think he said Bruce, he said, he said Bruce Jenner was his was one of his idols. So whoa, See, just really? help him, Lord, help yeah, him. Sucks. Y'all know it sounds crazy to pray for celebrities, but I'd be praying for Kanye. It do not sound dude. sound no, no, crazy no, no, that's, because that's, that's a really that's good. a way because people see them as like so still far away. Human yeah, beings that's it. That need a lot. Half the time, we need more prayer than we do. Than anybody on the like earth. seriously, but like they got everything. No, again, what props a man? They if they if they yeah, don't have don't. peace, their mm. soul. You know they ooh they on some other stuff that we yes. in the same breath. You ain't got the answer. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh. Houseway. Okay. Houseway. <laughs> <laughs> Love me some Kanye. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I did. I used. To, I, I stopped loving Kanye. Well, I still love him with the love of the Lord, but <laughs> I stopped saying? loving him like that after um uh the Dropout album, whatever, or mm-hmm. Jesus Walks or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, no, it was probably the Devil album. That's when you think about yeah. he had the upside yeah. down stuff. Yeah, I true, think like true. everything changed when his mama died. So. Yeah, true, Absolutely. I agree. I agree. But yeah, so oh my goodness, thinking about like just talk shows and that time, something you said that made me think about talk shows. Uh, so Sharon Osbourne, you got lady? Are you like? Yeah. Are you guys? Uh, I kept familiar? seeing the headline. I, I know her. I, I didn't know what happened. So she basically says something wasn't racist, right? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. 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 So Sharon, I wish I could play. Ooh, what's her name? Um, but she always has great commentary. <laughs> like uh, uh instead, I, right instead of saying clap clap back, sometimes I call it black back or <laughs> whatever. Um, and so uh what is it? Amanda Seals. She always oh, has great her. commentary <laughs> on stuff like this. And then she went it. to school for like I may, pu- I may like pull it up. She's amazing. She's amazing. Uh, people don't like her, but I'm I love just her. Say, she's I one of those, love it's polar. Either people hate her or they love I, her. I'm I'm definitely on the side I of uh, Amanda Seals. And she goes stand on what she believes anyway. That, that's, that's why, why I love her. The real. I don't even uh, always mm. like what she has to say. I love people who just stand strong in their truth. Like what they really, really believe. Like and she she ain't she it ain't takes pulling. a lot. It takes a yeah, lot. Yeah, she ain't moving. But anyway, so Sharon Osborne is this is I think what, let me think about what their their show is. I think it's called The Talk. Yeah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. Sharon Osbourne and Cheryl Underwood, yeah, right? Yeah. Yes. So yes. there was something that came up, and so Sharon had, mm-hmm. oh, Pierce. Um, Pierce Morgan. Yes, yeah. thank yeah. you. So Pierce Morgan and Sharon uh, Osbourne are really good really friends, friends right. right? So Sharon Osbourne is one of the hosts of The Talk, but we also know Sharon Osbourne from being the wife of Ozzy That's Osbourne, the show and all right? That. And they had, the, they had their reality show that was yeah. really popular, Kelly and all of the, you yeah. know, their children and stuff, you know. And so she's, she's British. And um, I don't know why that matters. I think it because does. Because her and Pierce Morgan are British. Right, okay. Yeah. And so and he's anyhow. over in UK. He's a talk show host over in right. UK. Right. Oh, and so I think he has something to say about, about the, the royal, royal family. family. This that is why incident. it matters. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I was listening to something. <laughs> okay. And so anyway, um, Sher- uh, Sharon downplayed what he had to say. Correct. And was just like, you know, this is my friend. And, and really was kind of like just standing with him in the sense of not standing with him in terms of what he said. But like, that's my boy. Yep. But at the same time. If Girl. your boy, like you, if, if your boy is wrong, then you're if wrong. he's wrong, he's wrong. And what happened was within 
the show. They were talking about it on air, she and got she, she got so flustered, and she Francis. she played the victim card so yeah. hard. Oh. She literally, yeah. and then when when Cher, um, Cheryl had words to say back to her, she was like, "Now don't you start crying, don't start doing this, don't start doing that." And and so yeah. when Cheryl started uh, to make her point mm-hmm. as to her, you know, just expressing herself and what yeah. she felt about what Pierce said. She kept cutting her off. And then she kept saying, how can I be racist? And she said, you're trying to make me out to be racist. Mm. You know, and so that's... we're just trying to make everybody see the truth, child. But the privilege even in that conversation that's the part. showed it. Like, yeah, that's the part. That, you overtalked that what, me. And I, forget, I think it was Amanda Seals that was like, you are literally denying Cheryl yeah. her, her tears. Experience. Yes. Her experience. Her feeling that's because it. you don't because want... Because you feel like it's wrong. No, it makes me feel guilty. Yep. So hold that in. Wow. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. But that's, exactly that's it. it and so Don't express yourself. <laughs> and so and that was a big thing because uh, Cheryl Cheryl was like, you know, I just, I'm just trying to have supremacy. right. <laughs> Sorry. Cheryl is like, you know, I'm just trying to have a a conversation with someone that I see as my friend, like talking to Sharon, yeah. and she wouldn't hear. And then she then she came back with the apology. Of course, as they all come back with the apology, you know, and she was just saying that you know she didn't mean she just lost it, you know, because the idea that anybody would ever consider her to be racist Here it just go. doesn't make sense. How can I be racist? How could I ever see, be racist? Then, when Nick Cannon says something like this, he loses everything. You know Ooh. what I mean? Oh. But she's going to be right up there smiling with that red hair up the next week. And I can't. With no, just, question, uh, no question, right? Yeah, just easily. No question. <sighs> so speaking Le, of... <laughs> Lay side. Lay So speaking of just living in America, child, okay? Because oh. <laughs> this is what it is. And, is oh, it is. and that was the other thing that Amanda said, uh, something, too, about... You know how you know we try to make it seem like uh, racism is only an American thing, <laughs> and right. it's, not, it's not, right? It's in other countries too, you know. But <laughs> back to America. So this whole um, mm. hate crimes on Asian people, Say it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hate crimes. Yeah. So uh, any thoughts on on that, or what do you guys know about it? Or you don't, or you're not aware? No, it's 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 come to a point, like you said. It's not just our race, or what? It's yeah. It's white. Terrorism and people are scared to say that phrase. It's white terrorism. That's exactly what it is. Right. And it's like we say, you know, oh, Asian love and black love, and it's like, well, that too, but call the other part what it is. Like, yeah, because we it, wouldn't have we wouldn't have to do all that yes, if we just say, yes, hey, yeah, right. Because this is an issue, and let's deal with that. Like our country has a history of always bashing the result. It's like, wow, oh, you're right. Why are you rioting? Oh, why are you mad? Oh, and it's like, no, 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 no. Let's call terrorism what it is. And so I think we need to, like, push Systemic that. Like, no, hold them to that. Like, no. And then the fact that the kid gets to say, I had a bad day. Like, the person that did it, that killed the, the Asian people. No, the fact that he yeah, went like, on a tour. But no, say it. Say it believe it or not, there would be some people who don't know. So kind of, like, give them a little bit of the, the story. Well, apparently, yeah, this was, week, this was a weird week, too. Yeah, people was, just, was, was just really was crying. Really the crime was really crime. weird. I mean, yeah. even Oconomowoc man just opened fire up at the Kroger place and just killed mm-hmm. folks. And I can't. But, um, so apparently this man travels to three different um, spas in Atlanta mm-hmm. and targets. I think, Asian. Yeah, women. it was killed about maybe six, but he maybe shot eight. Yep, correct. Um, Asian women. He went to like three different shots, and this was like through out three different cities. It wasn't even like all in the same town. Right. Um, of course, he was arrested, not killed. I'm not saying they should have killed him, but you but. know, if this was us, we'd have been killed. <laughs> um, but the excuses yeah. he was able to give: I have a sex addiction. Number one. Oh, which I heard that. Oh, I knew it was coming. I didn't and hear number it. two is I had a bad day, and I'm like sick. <laughs> but you know when we do it, it'd be up on the news. I wish I he could slapped say a man I had in a kindergarten, and he's always had a troubling, <laughs> violent past. <laughs> but when white folks do it, he's always struggled with mental mental health. He's been a troubled mm. child. They gonna take care of their people. Listen, yeah. I'm surprised he ain't had no Burger King on the way to the jailhouse. <laughs> I'm over it, y'all. Even when I put it up on our page, I put white terrorists, okay? Because there ain't no other news outlets going to say it. I don't care. And so we're going to say it. And then the joke is they can have say the same that. appearance. Like, I remember in the early 2000s, if you had a long beard, old oh, Muslims and their beards. But this dude had a long beard. A long, long scraggly, shaggy dude I didn't beard. Even see. I'm surprised we've seen a picture of him. Okay. Man. 
because the other so the other thing too for some people who don't know is like well then why why are they just why are they targeting Asian people and it's because of Corona right so people right. are still yeah because so they, Trump has led people to believe that, that this is the, they the are kung the fu reason. virus so what he kung flu um, <laughs> he said that this <laughs> is the China <laughs> virus. But I'm just, and the people, not even like they're killing Asians. People are literally, I've seen videos, people are walking up to Asian peoples and like punching them in the face. That is just sick. It's me. stupid. Why am I laughing? It's not funny. Because um, it just seems like. Because I'm be like, they ain't never like tried Marty that with Matt. us. It you just, didn't try that with us. Walk it, up to me and punch me because you hate me. I wish you would. No, they'll just shoot you. Yeah, because they, sure. they can't, no, because they're they too scared no, to punch. punch. They're not going to just punch. They're not going to just, they just go ahead, you know. They're going to they they shoot after. you. <laughs> but I mean, come on now. They, they be knowing karate and stuff. Not at all of them. Sorry. It's such a oh, stereotypical stop. thing to say. <laughs> cut, the, cut the video. Cut. <laughs> cut. Cut. I'm sorry. I sound like Trump. <laughs> Put up the love. Okay. <laughs> you never know. Oh, we lied. Oh, we, we are absolutely lying. Sorry, uh, sorry, oh, sorry. Asian <laughs> friends. Um, <laughs> my goodness. But no, seriously. But honestly, but like this is how so detached that. I have been, and I'm sure there are other people that can relate yeah. because it's overload with it stuff. I literally Agreed. saw, I saw this post. The only, re- the first time I, I really saw this post and it stood out to me was on Tony Baker's page. So he's another. So you guys will hear me usually say Tony Baker or <laughs> Andrew Caldwell. I right. watch them every night. <laughs> Tony Baker is one of my favorites too. And so Tony, oh, I feel t- bad for Tony. This is way left. But uh, Anita Baker blocked him from um, why <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, from her uh, what you call because they had the same last name. He claimed that this what he can't figure it out and it, <laughs> he's so hurt by it. I don't know if y'all ever seen the little uh, video that went viral of the little boy that uh, was getting interviewed before he went into school. It's, it's so cute and, and he uh, bust out crying. Yes, yes, and Tony Baker put it up and said that that, that was him when people keep asking him why Anita Baker uh, <laughs> block, blocked him from Instagram. <laughs> And so, <laughs> so he has it where he's, they're saying, you know, um, did you know that Anita Baker <laughs> blocked blocked you from Instagram? And he's like, yes. You know, he was like, uh, does you know, does it matter to you? And he's like, no, no. And and goes, All right. It's so adorable and hilarious. So this is why Kev on stage put up and said, you're not the only one being blocked by a singer. Because yes. I think Janae Aiko blocked him for whatever. Whoa, because really? Kevin and Kevin won't let it die, and Kevin keep hurting his feelings. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm, I didn't mean to get off of the, of the Asian people. This is how it happens in America. And we end up doing everything else, and Asian people are getting busted in the face, okay? So back to what I saw. I did, on Tony Baker's page, I saw uh, the, you know, that, uh, I guess, hate crimes against uh, Asian people. You know, that's Mm -hmm. racism, too, or whatever. And so what I was talking about was just being so detached from it because it's overload from stuff. And so I know there's other people, because I was like, well, why did it hit them? I wasn't even thinking about corona, you know, and everything else. It is. The same thing with the 9-11 thing. Like, you know, after that happened, people just started. coming for Indian people. Yeah, this is dumb. That's just, ooh, bless the people. I don't know, Father. I did want, before we go go to break, because <laughs> Amanda Seals, I just love her. Yes, so, okay, we it. just go back to the, the Sharon Osbourne. So we're going to go back. Uh, mm. So we are praising, pra- praising, come on. We are praying for the Asian community, all jokes aside. Yeah, you know, sure. And just that, you know, some things be rectified and rectifying that people just wake up and realize that I am not your problem. My brother is not my problem. Yes. My, you know, the person next to me is not my problem. Whatever the issue what is, what you dealing with de- is on the inside. Deal, deal That's with the yourself. problem. See? It is Jesus. such an ugly place to be. But anyway, back to Sharon. Okay. <laughs> so this is what. So Kevin Frazier apparently um, tagged Amanda Seals. Kevin Frazier is an interviewer, mm-hmm. uh, a well-known interviewer, yeah. a black man, mm-hmm. and yep. tagged uh, Amanda Seals in this uh, post um, where he is interviewing Sharon and Sharon is giving her apology. And Amanda's like, why did you tag me? And basically what her irritation is because here we go now, here's an African-American man, man that is now saying, you know, tag, he tagged her, he tagged Cheryl Underwood and someone else. Like, look, see, she's, she's being nice. She's apologizing now, child. Oh. The thing is... Hopefully she don't Cheryl Underwood. Hopefully she don't In an effort to have a kumbaya teaching moment for this trash-ass woman who doesn't even feel like she needs to abide by the basic laws of civility, let alone in a professional setting. And I'm wondering why, why do so many brothers, particularly in this entertainment business, 
Mm -hmm. I like that. Feel the need to Okay. Oh, okay. No, no. All right. Whoa. <laughs> we got sixty seconds. We can okay. Cut it out. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yes. Cut. Uh. And so. Okay. <laughs> y'all. Y'all listen to Kirk. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is. I just. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't really watch this all the way through to see. But anyway, she has uh, some amazing commentary because the other part of it goes beyond. It goes beyond just the the share the Cheryl and. Cheryl Sharing commentary, it uh, then it kind of goes into our community where it it, it kind of brings you back to the point of why do we then have to be play protector yeah, no. of the people you were wrong. that you know if you're wrong you're wrong and so apologies to the WGOB audience you know if anybody heard that that slip we didn't we didn't sorry <laughs> okay uh oh, uh -oh. sorry I might put my, this on the map oh no. <laughs> 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 my goodness but anyhow you guys that has been your hot topics wow so we praying for Uncle Kirk and now I guess we pray for uh for Amanda Seals too and her f bombs. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shout out to to again all of those who won the Grammys uh, this past right. week. It really was an amazing show. And again, I I really do hope for the best. Even though we're coming for Sharon Osbourne, I I really hope that we can grow as a people and not have to hide behind. Um, just these old these bare yeah, yeah these all just... these old thoughts. Just hear each other out. That's all you got to do. What it I'm doesn't mean you're she's racist. She's so old that I don't right. think she's just going to get it. Yeah. Mm. It may be one of and those. I'm, I mean, I hope she does before she die. And I don't mean like she's about to die soon. But you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. She's just so old that they just don't be getting it. Yeah, you they don't try want and The thing try. is, they just I, don't want to. I, I was yeah. just going to say, I, when you, I, some people, they protest this too much. Yeah. <laughs> like, the fact that she kept saying, I'm not racist. What do you mean racist? It's like. How can I be yeah, racist? Like, come on. Anybody. Come like, on. like, come on. Now, don't say how. <laughs> because like, I'm sitting up on the stage with other four other black women. I hate I just that. Because be that's racist. what you want to say. You know, I got friends and my daughter has yeah, friends. She wants to go. I want to say that, yeah. you know. My best friend is black. Oh, my goodness. There and at go. the end of the day, you know, there even you beyond our own kind of plight as African-American people, you know, we're, we're, we're praying for the Asian community and really anyone yes. who is a target of any hate crime. You True. know, well, let's just True. do better. Let's yes, just do please, better. Lord. Well, this has been your Hot Topics. Oh, my God. And it has been hot. <laughs> and we'll be right back after this.
Or do you got that? Uh-huh. <laughs> I got that by Anthony Brown and Group Therapy. Love, love, love them. Well, we are back. You are locked into Saved and the City, MKE, the Christian talk show radio show. Yes. We are Emphasize in the place that, to be. Emphasize that because people felt like they were okay, going someplace yes, else. Yes, we, we, <laughs> we had a little Kirk situation, but we're good. We are saved, and God is with us. Yes, he is. All right, it's time for our church announcements. We are glad you are here with us on 1560 and on Facebook Live and okay. everything else. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. It is still March, and we're still celebrating March Madness and everything else going on in March. Yeah. Um, another awesome event, week three of the Slay Yourself mm-hmm. Authors Edition is mm-hmm. Sheila Lee. Make sure you tune in on March 21st for that. Um, awesome black authors, women authors, mm-hmm. during Women's History Month, so why not? Mm-hmm. Um, nice. Next right. week is Bridget Rhyming and her book, so make sure you check that out. Looking for something fun to do with the kiddos or just something fun to do on a date night? There is a free auto show happening, International Auto Show. Um, it's in West Alice, and it's absolutely free. It's for seven hours. You can pop in, pop out. So check that out. We'll have that up for you. Um, join the Alternative Conversation Self Work. I love Marquesa, and I love Jamila. So check this out. Awesome women of God doing some amazing things in the community. Um, self Work, March 28th, a conversation about self work. Amen. A lot of us need some work on self. Okay. Volunteers <laughs> needed for a food pantry. Um, we are the third week of every month where they're doing a food pantry, Greater New Birth. Um, they're serving from 7 a.m. to noon every third Saturday. So if you're looking for, um, if you're a college student, you need some credits, some volunteer credits, or if you're just looking for an opportunity to give back, awesome church doing an awesome thing in community. They do it every third Saturday. Um, volunteer help such as food sorters, baggers, line distribution, and cleanup. Um, and it's at Greater New, B- New Birth Family Life Center. If you're interested, just show up, baby. Just show up. Royale Events uh, March Madness Game Nights. You can get you some games, some prizes, some foods, drinks if you're just looking for something to do. $15 in advance, $20 at the door. But you have to RSVP at the number listed below. Um, so make sure you check that up. It's at 2125 West North Avenue um, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Another thing going on, which is awesome, NAACP Ozaki County is hosting um, Women in the NAACP presents Pastor Pamela Hines, co-pastor of Christian Faith Fellowship Church, CEO CEO of Perfect Peace, Touch Lord and Touch Now, (laughs) Uh, 2020 Milwaukee (laughs) Business Journal, Woman of Influence, and five-time best-selling author. Um, So make sure you tune in for that. Registration is required. It is March 22nd at 6 p.m. Love it, love it, love it. Um, last but not least, actually it's not last, but <laughs> Entrepreneur Her pop-up shop networking event. We told you about it, but it is happening this weekend at 2 p.m. Um, raffles, prizes, and more. If you're a woman and you want to connect with some other women entrepreneurs, this will be a great event for you. It's at 838 South 1st Street, um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I think I've been to this place. It's a really nice little thing that they have. It's like a workspace. Mm-hmm event space you could rent a desk if you want oh, to nice. and it's like all women businesses in there it's like a it. esthetician in there like a masseuse a little oh, hairstylist it's nice together. um so yeah check that out awesome awesome stuff going on here um and the last announcement wglb is having their 2021 scholarship um in memory of joel J. Kinlo. Kinlo. Is that what it says? Yes. That cur- cursive is hard for me to read. <laughs> um, apply. You have to have a GPA minimum of 2.3, I think, or is that 2.5? Let's say 5. I need 2.5. Just level up. Just level do it up. in do Jesus' better. name. Um, <laughs> you have to be in the Milwaukee County area or surrounding high school. A few other requirements that we'll put up for you to apply, but hey, why not get some free money in Jesus' name um, for you to continue <laughs> your education? Um, but that's all we have today on church announcements. Remember, you can send in any community event or church announcement for us to announce on air for free. You can send that announcement to Saved and the City MKE at gmail.com. Once again, Saved and the City MKE at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing for you, yes. from you, and for you. <laughs> yeah, right. Are we going to another break? We are going to go to another break. Oh, actually, no.
No. No. <laughs> oh, no. Man, <laughs> um, because just in time, I'm so excited. Actually, our uh, our featured guest, we were kind of waiting for her to chime in or to, to call in, and now I see that she is there. And so I'm so excited to be able to talk to the amazing Sharon yeah. Ann. Let's get her on before we lose her, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and so I'm so excited to be able to talk to the ma- amazing Sharon Ann. We're, what we're doing is we're uh, celebrating and highlighting amazing women um, just throughout this Women's History Month. We, you know, just celebrated International uh, Women's Day. And and so I just happened to know so many amazing sisters. I said, let me make some phone calls and see what we could do. And so uh, I'm beyond uh, elated and, and grateful and honored to have the amazing uh, singer, songwriter, producer, musician extraordinaire, fashionista. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-huh. I mean, all of the things, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and she's super cute, <laughs> Miss Sharon Ann. Are you there with the Sharon? I am. <laughs> you like, whoa, I just called in and then <laughs> What did I just <laughs> 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 Baby, we <laughs> right. <laughs> it's all you. It's all you, boo. Yes, we are. Oh, we are God. all the way on the radio <laughs> right now. And so, so glad you could join us. So that was just a, a few accolades. But why don't you say hello to the people of Milwaukee and, and, and abroad, those that are they're listening around the world. Hello, hello, <laughs> hometown, Milltown. Okay. And to everyone that's listening from your various areas, county, city, states. I am actually the one that's honored Aww. to be considered, want to be interviewed. Those are very kind words. I am Aww. very humble. Thank you for having me. Of course. <laughs> okay. And, you know, one of the things that I love about, about you, Sharon, is that you've all, I mean, for, for as long as I've known you, uh, I don't know if you remember, do you remember, like, we go way back, let's go back in the day, yeah. we tried to do a girl band, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and took, like, it, we was like, it, I think it was like off of 40-something in Lisbon, I don't know, we did so, we did a thing, and so just yeah. to see, mm-hmm. you know, where we were then, then and just all of, of your, um, your your growth and just expansion since then, uh, you know, it's just it's just been amazing to watch, and you've always remained humble approachable, yeah. tangible, and I love that about you. So for those people who don't know all that you do other than, you know, what I just, you know, shared with the people, t- take take them on a little bit of a journey of kind of where you started and kind of what brought you to where you are today. All right. Well, I know this may sound cliche, but anyways, I started seeing you when I was just a child, Okay. Um, very interested in music. Um, with seeing all the commercials, anything that I could think of, I started there. And then um, the ministry, I am a PK that started in 97, and I think that's when the Master Thornton uh, year for <laughs> musicianship. My parents are uh, Pastor Greg and Pastor Joyce Thornton of yes. the Christ. Amazing. Yes. The ministry. And so, amen. They're wonderful leaders. Been um, serving them since 97. Okay. And we're still here, just relocated yeah. um, in the Arlington, Texas area. But nevertheless, the musicianship started about eight years old. Um, around the age of 13 is when I wrote my first song. And then I started traveling alongside my mom when she would go various places to minister. And mm-hmm. she was kind of pushing me out there to sing. Um, contrary to what people may believe, I just did not want to be the person that was just pushed out in front. I enjoyed background singing, and I still do. Yeah. Um, but nevertheless, she felt like there was something more in me, so she wanted to push me more to come out of the background to be in the forefront. It, it, it took a while, but nevertheless, um, that started when I was 13. About 16, I became one of the worship leaders at the church, and I still kept writing. Um And then opportunities around the Milwaukee area presented itself where I was able to sing with some wonderful singers backing up amazing artists. And that just became the thing for me. Um, And uh, before relocating to Dallas in 2015 and 2014, I had a concert. Um, I told myself before I moved, I wanted to just put an EP together. Yeah. And I was able to accomplish that. 
um, was able to get some wonderful people, including an amazing artist. We all know him as Marcus McFarland. Yeah. He was there, yeah. and he shared his ministry. I mean, just so many talented people, yes. and um, Ty came to moderate. And I oh, think that's how that happened. That's mm -hmm. how the connection happened. Okay. Yeah. Actually, let me tell you how that connection happened with Ty. So it's one of those instances where I, I know I was thinking, I backed him up. It was something that Christian Faith was having. Uh -huh, I was there. It was lot. outside. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it was outside. Yes. It was outside. And I believe. Oh, I was there. Too. Around, yeah. Um, it was just a wonderful event that was going on. And that was like the first connection with him. And, um, from there, I believe that he just kind of remember who I was. No, what it was and is she got there and cut up. Okay. She got there and cut up. <laughs> she got there and clowned, yes. and he turned around like, who is that? <laughs> I remember. Okay. I was there, and he I turned around, and he looked at you. No, no, no. <laughs> I had no clue. My eyes were closed. That's okay. That's what happened. We were, we, were, we were all just singing out loud, I think, at that moment. I had no clue you was gonna do that. I was scared out of my mind. It's on you though. Okay. <laughs> it was called Reverb, I think. Yep. I was, I was honored, but I was still scared, yeah. and I, I and I had to take off the nerves. Yeah. Uh, but nevertheless, <laughs> that's where the connection happened. He did remember me when we sent an invite for him to come and join me, and I think uh, the following year is when I became a part of the crew in 2015 of Ty Tribbett's crew, and I've been rocking with him ever since. Um, oh, goodness. When I moved to Dallas, uh, the opportunity was presented for me to go on tour with Fred Hammond for his Festival of Praise. Hmm. So I was able to be a background vocalist on that and wow. sing behind some of those wonderful artists who was on at that time. That was an amazing experience. Name a few of those um, artists. Name a few. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a few. No. Okay. Well, well, on that round, I believe it was the first one. It was it was Fred. It was Donnie McClurkin. It was Israel Holton. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was Hezekiah Walker. It was Jessica Reedy. It was Isaac Ooh, Curry. It was Kim Burrell. Yeah. It was the Cardi Cortez. And Sharon oh, Ann. <laughs> <laughs> but I had so much fun. I My know. first two experience. I mean, we got on the road at the end of September. And off the road in the beginning of December. Wow! So it was it was a great experience. I learned a lot. Um, networked, got to meet some amazing people, got to serve with some amazing people, and so that was awesome. Um, and I've really been I I started modeling yeah. somewhat in Milwaukee, mm -hmm. and then I kind of picked it up more so here. So. I think after the first year being here, I was able to work with the uh, celebrity stylist uh, Jason Bolin, or what people call him Jay Bolin. Yeah. That mm -hmm. uh, was a great experience. I uh, worked with him for a while. Um, amazing individual, yeah. has an amazing eye for fashion. So that was dope. And just a kind and, heart. Um, and in 2018, I. Came in contact with a super forty is an amazing producer and songwriter as well, who's worked with all of our favorite, um, the Clark sisters. Yes. I mean, uh, Kim Burrell, he did Everlasting Life. That's just a staple oh, album yes. for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, just so many on both the secular and gospel. And um, we connected, and since then he has... Uh, work with me. We have an album that is completed. The 12th Ooh. song is not released yet. I uh, know. I was trying to get uh, one of them songs today. <laughs> That's all good. But you're going to come on back when this when it's completed no, and ready for we, release. Yes, and we're going to make that happen. Yes. We're going to make that happen. Um, <laughs> blessing to connect because I'm just be transparent with you guys. Yeah. And we see, you know, the, 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 the smile. Yeah. We see all of this stuff on social media, but guys, I was literally just on the brink of Jesus talk quitting. My Even goodness. though all of those great things had happened, Help I us. was literally still discouraged. Jesus, wow. Um, because I felt like I didn't 
Lord have mercy. I didn't have the support. Yeah, go there. Um, that was needed mm -hmm. for me and mm -hmm. for my voice mm -hmm. and for my creativity. Mm -hmm. um, there was a point where this happened before I moved, where I had to go to therapy only because I um, was singing one Sunday and I. I guess I was just doing too much, I guess. Maybe too much yelling. Mm -hmm. But I know that at one <laughs> point, um, I had uh, I had thought that being a gospel singer meant that you had to have Holla. a lot of grit mm. and wrath. You helped us, somebody. That was gospel. And if you didn't have that, mm -hmm. you didn't qualify. Yeah. <laughs> and I think on one particular Sunday... I tried that, and I remember I thought it was just normal hoarseness. And then I went to sleep, and I woke up hoarse. But then by the end of the day, I had my voice back. But then the next day, I woke up, I was hoarse. And by the end of the evening, my voice came back. And that was the trail of events that was happening. So I realized something was wrong. I was like, oh, my God, what did I do? I, did I have nausea? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I realized I could not sing above a tenor note. Mm. What? Wow. And you a that, full soprano. Full yeah. mezzo. Listen, and it's to death. Wow. And when I went, I went to an e ENT. He exp uh, expressed to me what had happened. There was a swollen uh, blood vessel on my wow. uh, vocal cord. Oh, wow. And so he was telling me, you know, that I would have to have therapy for six months. I would have to take this medication. If it didn't work, then it would have to be surgery. And I'm just like, oh, God. It was it was depressing. Yeah. Because I couldn't sing like I wanted right. to sing. And I could barely sing at all. Jeez. Um, nevertheless, since then God has restored, but yet there were some things um that was still troubling me. Like I said, I was just ready to just be like, um, I'm good. I've tried. Right. I've worked with some amazing people, Not but long. God, you there's so many promises, mm. there's so many things you've spoken over my life. What if, what about me? What yeah. about this? What about that? Yeah. I don't know if anybody else has had that experience. Oh, yes. Listen, oh, you in yes, the listen. you're in the house on today. You wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my, my Kojic rock right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Lord have mercy. Like, I just felt forgotten. Yeah, I felt yeah. neglected. And, you know, people think because you you may have networked and connected yeah. with certain people. That, oh, that's just it. You, no. You've arrived, yeah. That's not just it. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean mm -hmm. anything, actually. I mean, it's a blessing, but yes. it doesn't mean that this is the end all. Like, yeah, that, right. It's yeah. zero from, goes from zero to 100 just like that. No, it doesn't. Sometimes it's just what it is. You just connect to them. You may have worked with them or mm -hmm. worked for them or whatever, and that's just that. Mm -hmm. Their success is not your success. Oh, Ooh, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. And, and I think a lot of times Ooh, the, the issues we have is tying our success yep. to the success of others. <laughs> and that's not something that we should assume that's because that's not God's God plan. Has his own path for yeah. Us. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. You Preach. think that person. He didn't say it's the thoughts that I think towards them. So Everybody, to, right. And you know what I'm saying? I had to get. Even I'm guilty of that, yeah. of thinking, like, growing up that, hey, you know, well, connecting with this person, listen, this puts me on the map. No, actually, no, it doesn't mean that. Yeah. So, yeah. nevertheless, I have my own journey, and I'm still on that journey. Yeah. And I, just to get back to what I was saying, mm -hmm. I I was in a place where I was just like, eh, yeah, I don't know about this. Um, and I'll never forget it. Um, and I just said, I cried. I literally probably cried about an entire month. Mm. And mm. I said, okay, I'm going to take one last stab at this. And I just decided I'm just going to reach out to you, Asa. I met him in passing. I'm going to reach out, try to get in contact with this person and see what happens. And, and he accepted to meet with me. Mm. Because I, in my mind, I thought, well, listen, you, you've worked with some incredible artists. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you may even think about me if I'm even worth it. You know, these wow, are thoughts that are entering that. into yeah. my mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, he was so humble, so welcoming, accepted to meet with me the day, the next day. 
And so wow. we went and and, you know, this guy did his thing. <laughs> and so here now in 2021, we're just sitting and waiting. It's such an amazing um, body of work. And I say that I am very proud of it because you can you could have told me that I would be the singer songwriter that I am right. today. Wow, I, that's I amazing. Told myself, I told myself back then when I was growing up, my mind, in my mind at that time, I said, you know, I'll, I'll just be a, a, a worship leader at a, at a church. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with yeah, that whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what I thought. That was, that was your ceiling. Yeah. I'm going to write some songs for, for my church. And, and for other churches to sing, and that's it, and I'm good. Mm-hmm. Right. But Your then plan. the desire started to change, <laughs> and the vision started to grow. Ma'am. And then I realized that my writing style started to change, and then I really started being very transparent, and, and the things that I was hearing in my mind um, that was coming to me, I was literally like, wow, wait a minute, these lyrics, you know what I'm saying, they have depth to them, and they're... Mm. They they come from a place of experience, mm-hmm. and I I realized that this entire album is is almost equivalent to my private life and private talks with God being put on a public display, mm. and I have been able to work with some incredible producers, um, including my brother. My older brother, Golden Boy Beats, a shout out to hey, him, yes. to d Music, who's worked with Jonathan McReynolds and so wow. many others. I mean, Ace of Ace of the Thing, some incredible musicians are a part of this project. Yes. And there's a song for everyone. So, um, at first, I was just a little nervous, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> because I was like, you know, this album... <laughs> It's not what people may expect yeah. from me because they really only get to see me leading worship mm-hmm. at church mm-hmm. and maybe on the stage with Ty or someone else that I'm backing up. But they really do not know that Sharon is versatile. Oh, but they will know. Okay. Music. Yes. And, and, and baby, when I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you press play, you shall know. Okay. <laughs> you shall know. But I'm so excited. I am humbled and I'm grateful to God that he kind of took me from that place. That was a yeah. depressing state. Yeah. I just wanted to get up uh, to give up. And he showed me that he heard me and he cared. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. about me and I have been through a lot guys you know yeah. I'm sure we all may share some similar stories of being misused and right, taking advantage right, of sure. and people sure. saying they'll work with you and not work with mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. or just Waste wanting to use you yeah. you know to get what they need yes. need yes. accomplished yes. and just put you on a back burner like us just Lord have mercy the mm. story but nevertheless God was like, oh, I'm going to do you one better. Okay. Wow. And Thank you, this Lord. is going to be a part of your healing. Wow. And I'm grateful that, you know, because everybody has their story. Yeah. You know, we there's that show, The Unsung. People have gone through mm, a lot yeah. Yeah. behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah. And, sure. and listen, we are not to be fooled by the glitch and the glam mm-hmm. because it's real out here. But I'm grateful to God. Yeah. You know, for what he's done. So that's why I am musically, Love it. you know, fashion. I'm still doing my thing, still <laughs> singing, songwriting. Uh, lately, I was able to vocally produce and arrange Martha Menendez. Yes, I was going to bring that, that up. That's amazing. amazing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Crispy. I actually, it was a blessing to be able to uh, uh Vocally produce her album and arrange for her album. And it's, it's, it's the arrangements for me, it's though. I said you better arrange, <laughs> Sister Sharon. Okay, because okay. where you be hearing about women arrangers <laughs> okay. in, in, you know, in the gospel industry? We don't I know too it. many. I see it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it, it was a blessing. Um, the producer, uh, David Allen, and the musicians, and, and those that accompany the singers, they, and they're incredible. It, 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 I bet it Martha Menezes is the goat. To look yeah. out you know, for 
you know, well, definitely yeah. stream her album. If you haven't had an opportunity to check out Glorious 2.0, by all means, check it out. Um, so, yeah. That, that. Did I miss anything? My son <laughs> will be 14 I, this year. Oh, right, <laughs> baby. Woo. My goodness, time flies. I remember him yeah, when he was a ba- little baby boy. Wow. Yes. Yeah, he's he headed into high school this year. Jeez. And, um... The ministry here, God has been blessing. Um, my family is blessed. You know, they're alive and well. You know, so yeah. I, I don't really, you know, I, there's no need to complain. Right. God has been good. Okay. And I know that there are things, you know, that the enemy can kind of yeah. set up as mm-hmm. a mirage. Yeah. We all have our things that yeah. we deal with and go through. Yeah. And he will have us focusing more on the negative than the positive. Mm-hmm. But God has been good through it all. He's been faithful, so I'm grateful. Oh, my goodness. And we are beyond grateful just, just to, yes. again, to have you here. Grateful for your transparency mm-hmm. because that's the thing. You know, people always like to talk about, you know, what you know what's going right. But, like, <laughs> when you can kind of, uh, you know, strip off the mask and share with us some of the, the intimate moments of, of, of the struggle even that or you know, the wheat grows with the tear. You know, there's opportunity and then there's yeah. opposition, all of that. And so if nothing else, I know that that encourages the people to know that, you know, as they're on their own journeys, you know, just because it didn't work in this area or because it's a, a, a bit... It's taking a little longer in that area doesn't mm-hmm. mean that yeah. that the plan is is done, right? There's yet there's more to come. Right. So keep getting up. And sometimes it only takes a little bit of faith, you know. Regardless of where you were yeah. where you were, Sharon, you just st- still said, you know what? Even if I'm feeling these things, even if I don't feel worthy, I'm still gonna make the call. I'm still gonna make the yeah. next step. I'm still gonna do what I have to do, you know. Even if it's not mm-hmm. today, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, you know. And so having yeah. that plan is is so yeah. amazing. And so also, you know, this is something I didn't share, but I also wanted to honor you as one of Milwaukee's treasures and so what that oh, means wow. yeah so what that means is um, I'll be celebrating five years this year with Saving the City radio show and just the Saving the City community Congratulations. thank you and so what we do is we also um, highlight at least uh, usually between 25 and 50 amazing folks that are either connected to Milwaukee or at some point you know lived here and that have gone on to do amazing things we like to shine light on people that we see that are making real impact and so I also want to say that you know even in those times where you felt like okay well uh, you know should I keep going like you were making impact like yeah. there were people I listen even for I can speak for myself I've been watching you sis like I've been like okay look look at Sharon okay Brandon you better figure it out you know so I'm just saying in those probably in some of your weakest moments you were encouraging I can yeah. say me I'm just gonna say that's so why I'm always sharing your stuff because I'm like yes if she she broke through and I know it doesn't always feel like this, that but this is what yeah. success feels like People keep Man. keep um, thinking that it's going to feel like I don't know lilies and and and, and rainbows, yes. and but it feels it like this. <laughs> No, ma'am, and no, sir. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's grimy, it's dirty, it's 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 painful, it's ugly and beautiful all at the same time. And so we are so honored that you're here. And so again, tell the folks how they can get connected to you. And of course, we gonna at least get one of them singles once you once it's ready to be released. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it is. And actually, uh, speaking of that, we are projecting late spring. Mm, um, so I am about this single. I kind of gave a snippet of it on my Facebook page, on my artist page, and on my IG page. Yeah. Um, the name of it is called Peace Be Still. Ooh. Um, the single <laughs> is actually is ready to go. It's mixed and mastered, but I literally said, you know what? I have to have a visual that yeah. goes along yeah. Yeah, I hear with you. this. I, I just cannot just put this out by itself. I had a vision for it, and this is what this is what needs to happen. And God made a way for it to happen. Right now, I mean, because this visual is just not a normal visual. It it was an investment um, to the point to where uh, they called it a mini movie. Mm. It was lots of money invested into this, and I saw that it was worth worth it yeah and sure. i felt like people will be blessed by it um because that's what like this is a 
reintroduction of who Sharon Ann is. Mm, we ready. The EP that I released in 2014, that Sharon is not the same Sharon that's in 2021. Oh, come on, new. <laughs> and I said, you know what? If we're going to evolve, if we're going to take things to the next level, then let's do it. Yes. And um, that's what we did. And right now, it, the, the visual is in the end stages of the visual effects. I mean, you guys are going to really. <laughs> we ready. Be locked in. I'll say that you're going to be locked in. I I definitely took a risk with this. Well, some call it risk. <laughs> and so I really wanted to jump all in with this visual, and that's what we did. And um, we're just waiting for them to button it up. Okay. Button it up. We've been waiting, you know, and, and COVID, you know what I'm saying? It happened last year. We were anticipating it um, happening last year. But, you know, God's timing is impeccable. Mm -hmm. And when it's time for it to be released, it would be the time that God wanted it to be released. And that was a teaching moment for me. Yeah. Because at one point, I was just like, oh, my gosh. One thing about me is I don't like to tell people something is getting ready to happen, and then it doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah. But God taught me a lesson. Like, I control this. Right. <laughs> wow. The this. law of detachment. <laughs> All right. So let me handle this. So nevertheless, it's in its latest stages, and we are anticipating a late spring release. Um, so you can follow me to keep up with these, yes. uh, you know, the, the updates. Facebook, um, Sharon Ann, or at Ms. Sharon Ann, mm -hmm. M-Z-S-H-A-R-O-N-A-N-N. -N -N. On Instagram, Ms. Sharon Ann, same thing. And Instagram, Ms. Sharon Ann. So that's an M-Z and Sharon Ann. Um, you can also visit my website uh, at SharonAnnMusic.com. And I do have some things on there. Some videos. I I did release a uh, for Christmas. I did a Christmas mashup. Yeah, I saw that. Which was, your drummer boy video. I was like, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So there's some things to kind for people to kind of just look at, you know, listen to. But you can definitely stay up to date with what I'm doing next by following me at those handles. Love it. Oh, my goodness. And we'll make sure that we post it on our social media pages as well so people can just click and follow and do what they have to do. Well, Sharon, my goodness, it has been an absolute pleasure catching up with you. You know, the one thing is to see each other on social media, but then to actually get to talk to you has been absolutely amazing. Stay connected. And, again, we completely support you here. We see you here at Saved in the City Radio Show. Anytime you want to come back, there is an open door. I love you, sis, and we will talk. So oh my goodness. Talk okay. Soon. Have yes. a wonderful evening, guys. Thank you for All having right. me. Awesome. Right. And, and so we'll bye. be right back after this. Thanks for watching or tuning in to Saved in the City Radio Show.
to the Salem City Radio Show right here on WGLB 1560 96.1 FM. And my goodness, what an amazing chat with yes. the amazing mm-hmm. Sharon and such a humble spirit, y'all. But I'm telling you, if you um, if you haven't heard of her, go to our page. You know, we're going to post some things about her. And I'm telling you, you're going to be floored. This girl is a drummer. She's a singer. She's a, a mm. keyboard player. She's everything. Right. Uh, you know, just such an amazing vessel. And so I'm so excited uh, and, and just grateful, you know, to have her, have had her on the show. And so, you know, we wish you well, Sharon, and looking forward to much more to come. And so now we're going to jump into our top five you doing too much moments of the week because we couldn't let you scoot out of here and not and not get your dose for the week you know it's necessary you know some of you are like oh, yeah. i don't know what to do next week because i might do too much and so this is why we got you. this is why we got you exactly so let's jump in we're gonna try to move as quick as we can through these number five on your top five you doing too much moments of the week is Women of War. Mm. And so it's a it's a flyer that has been circulating around social media. I actually saw it a little while ago. And I was like, do I want to post it? You know? And I was like, you know, I don't know if it's the, the folks that they put on the flyer that's doing too much or is it whoever created the flyer. And so basically it says Women of oh. War. Oh. It's a women's conference 2021. Uh, May It's coming up, y'all. May 25th Uh-oh. through the 30th <laughs> <laughs> at 7 p.m. nightly. But listen, this post- is... By. So here's the joke. Oh, yeah, who is it hosted by? Do you see it? Lord have mercy. Them. I'm looking okay. At the, the <laughs> it says right. it's the Morning Glory <laughs> Fellowship of Churches. And so here, okay, so here's the gag. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the women of war aren't actually women. So it is literally, it's, um, I don't know, I, I guess it's, tra- it's, I don't even know if it's, tra- it's transsexual or transgender people. Wait, do you think so? No, 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 not transgender. What's the word? Like the, Gay. Uh, well, some of them is gay, but the other people are. But the, what's this? You talking about the left? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have, they dress up. They just dress up as women. Who look like that? <laughs> two people in the top? No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, my God. Because so, so, this is the apostle and first gentleman over in the right. Bless their hearts, Father. And then the, the two on the left just look like mother and mother. Mother and mother. Yeah, I don't think they're a couple. They look like women, No. They not yeah they they look like women but you know but you know what I mean they call the the um drag, drag queen like oh. drag oh. you know you got different kinds you got ones that like the drag like so you dress. think this is men dressed up as drag and in, in church hats mother hats these are all this is all men no it's not this Brady, is you this don't is know the that. gag no they're not they're men uh, this is the gag. Like that's the fun. That's what makes it funny because it's women yeah, of war. They're, they're all men. Men. They're all men. So I'm sorry, WGLB listeners. <laughs> no way. This okay, WGLB listeners. You gotta you gotta go to our Facebook page so you can see what we're looking Who wants at to here. Dress like a church mother. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> Who aspires to be a church mother? Maybe Andrew Caldwell. <laughs> Touche. Baby, that he would have the hat on, that and he answer. would, he I would, would he, <laughs> baby. <laughs> okay, so that's, you know, that's the thing. So, yes, there are a couple gay a males on here, here but yes, up. everybody. So, the gag is that it says the woman of war, women of war, but it's all men on here, and it's just like, <laughs> a part, you know, people, yeah, I think it was Larry Reed that shared it the first time I saw it, and so they were Help like, wow, Lord. what have we gotten into, but I'm not, I really don't feel like this flyer is real. Like, it, it can't, can't be. be. It can't I be. hope it's I not. Refuse. But it's coming up, and I just might show up, okay? Because I just want to <laughs> see. So, yeah. So, I'm going to say, I don't know if the, the person who made the flyer is doing too much or if the folk own the thing. Maybe they're Everybody even involved. Everyone involved. Everybody involved. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Everybody involved, and we're moving. All right. So, number five, Women of War. Y'all doing too much. What is this? <laughs> what is that? Okay, yes. Uh-huh. What is this? Okay, <laughs> number three. <laughs> or number four. I'm just going to skip uh, four. No. So number four, we won't stay on it long. But I, the only reason why it came up, listen, I don't want to keep bringing it up. Uh-oh. You do, though. <laughs> but you I do. Because it keeps <laughs> popping up. Let me tell you. Okay. Uh-huh. This is why. This is the only reason why it popped up. So number, number four is called pronouns, right? And so, you know, we're living in a time right now where people like to be addressed by their whatever pronoun that they identify with. Mm-hmm. So I could be, uh, you know, born a she, but identify as male. And so I would want you to ca- call me he. 
So this is why it keeps coming up because it is in our face all the time. And I really want, I really do want to address oh. some of the things, you know. And and the reason, so this is why it came up this time That's for scary. me, mm -hmm. because I was watching what do you call it? Um, um, ooh, it's one of my favorite shows. This is us. Yeah. And so oh, I fell out of it. You feel, oh, it's good. It's good. It, it was very good. I just it was a lot. It it's a lot. <laughs> every time, like every episode, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry, cry, like cry, having now. Seasons, I, I couldn't. Keep yes, up. it's a lot, and you, and then you don't know what, what's happening when. But anyway, last night I was catching up on on one of the episodes, and so um, Randall's daughter, one of her daughter, one of his daughters is gay, and so or the black dude. Yeah, Randall okay. is the black dude, and so but anyway, so she's now in a relationship with a girl. But the girl wants to be referred to as they. Ooh. And so Whoa. the mom is like, oh, you going they over? because she identifies as man and woman. Baby, I don't. No, I, I'm saying I'm saying that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, well, that that's would probably be. Is. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. They. And I want you to acknowledge both people that I am. That's what people. That's why they go with they. I, I had a coworker, and that's what they did. <laughs> it it sounds it sound real legion to me. It sounds like I remember a Bible story that like, talked oh, about this. Right? It sounds real legion to me. It and so you so so spirit, you want us to ident we want we, you want to Mm. Well, we that's married. my problem and I'm again and I'm not so school you listen the one thing I can say about the Saved in the City radio show or any table where I'm sitting down I welcome people who want to come and talk about it who want to yeah. school us want to educate us on something different I'm not saying I'm going to believe different but yeah, I'm right. not saying that I'm not open to hearing and sure. who knows but that thing that's the part I'm like why are we trying to make that so and uh, so Claire Huxable what's her real name uh, Felicia, Felicia Rashad. Rashad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she won't always be clear. Claire Huxtable. Me. Uh, Felicia Rashad plays uh, Randall's wife's mother. And so oh. she, yeah, so she was on the show. And um, Randall's wife was having a hard time understanding these pronouns. And uh, Felicia Rashad was like, you know, it, we, we're making it real difficult, but it's really not. We always say that anyway. I'm going over their house. And mm -hmm. I was like, it could be one. And, it could, and she was like, it could be one person over there. She was like, I'm going over their house. And I'm like. But it's not that easy. Because with the no. co-worker. I was like, wow. That's what they say. They're trying to make it. It's like, oh, it's nothing. We do say that. No, mm. it's hard. Mm. And they corrected me when I worked at my other job. Because, you know, we'll just be like, um, is she here today? They. They'd be like, they. So I would have to say, is they here today? Or they are. Are they? <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly. It's just or everything. It's just name. a lot. <laughs> yeah. are, are they here today? Ooh. Instead of, is she here? Ooh. Are they here today? And I ha I had a, a conversation with a person who who was very clearly male, mm -hmm. and did not want to be you know want to be referred to as she, and does not dress like a woman. So that that's where it gets that's the complication. Well, of I would it. say so. You're trapped into offending anyone at this point. <laughs> Like, this is a lot. Wow. Like you're, you're That's what I'm saying, and I'm not saying so. And and the thing is, when you have these type of discussions, people automatically think hate, phobia, phobia, and it's not that. It's like this is this is it's not. I think I I put this quote up. Just because I disagree doesn't mean I hate. Mm. Come on. You know because I but I I don't understand. It's just it seems difficult to me. But again, you know, some people will say that unless I, that it is difficult. Because if that was the case, then why would they choose to walk this mm. difficult path? Right. I, I don't know. So the pronoun, I don't know. It feels like too much to me. It, it's too much for me only because I, I, and there's a percentage of people who after a certain age switch back. The fact that you are able to switch kind of infuriates me a little. Only because, well, you, I can walk into a room. I'm Period. Black Steve. Can't wherever. switch that. You Black Steve, wherever that. you go. <laughs> uh, big black dude. Like, I might can change the big, but I can't change the dark black. <laughs> At like, all. So I can't be like, I, you know, I'd rather be. I white. identify as white. Okay. I identify as white. Address me so as a white whatever. man. I identify as, as a camel. I mean, let's just go all out. What the heck? Really? I mean, what is it? It's confusing to me. I just, I, I think for, for me, like, regard, regardless of all the other stuff, it's the yeah. they. That at least that that's what stood scary. out stood out to me. I'm like they, like that's yeah. just a lie. Some days I want to be man, some days I want to be woman. But you're gonna address me as both, depending on which one I'm Ooh. thinking I am today. I'm just saying, Wake up it's a little day much day. for me. Stressful. It's a little much for me. So okay, and we're moving. Yeah. Uh, number three. Oh goodness, time is flying. Number three, modern day blackface. Oh, talk about Jesus. it, uh, Timothy Boone. 
this is the the makeup thing. Yes. And I just don't. Did uh, you watch the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, well, no, I, I watched it just till they pulled it off. Was it anything well, no, that more? Was it. That was it. So a, no, apparently, that was exactly. I don't know if this is on a set or what was the reason for it. But there's this woman. She looks like a black woman. Makeup is done. But you very know what? That's pretty. why I, I praise God for my discernment because I said something ain't right. Something ain't right. Yes. You could tell yeah. in like something the lip ain't right area. In, the, in the eyes. Yeah. It was like, so it was so it was makeup, but it turned out to not be makeup. It was like mm-hmm. some kind of some kind of contraption. They peeled it off, and it was a white woman under. <laughs> Like this whole made up black so forget woman's her. face, so forget and I mean she face. had it nappy was, hair. Baby, it was it was it was black head. It was like the black, whole black, black head. head. Yeah, and I just was like, even if we were celebrating like black women, you didn't have to do that. You just get a black woman for the job. You know what I mean? Mm. If it was like some kind of creative photo shoot and they were trying to celebrate black people, get a black woman. I, I just couldn't come up with a reason on why we would have to do it. You saw that? Yes. And the, the face sitting on, on over yes. on the side yes. was, it was so I was creepy. By that. You like, know the other part that, but it, what it really made me think about mm-hmm. was how you know uh, Jordan Peele's movies sometimes seem a bit unrealistic. Do you know what I'm talking about? Because he's really? he's kind of into that like race that race thing, but it's also like sci-fi. Yeah. It is. But when I saw that, I was like, "This is what this is t- it." <laughs> yeah. Like when I think you think about uh, not us, but the other one, Lovecraft um, Country. The one. No, on oh, that's a good one Get too. Out. <laughs> Get out. Oh yeah. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Where it was literally the white people that were taking like taking wanted black people bodies. bodies. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. They wanted our strength, strength, and they wanted yeah everything that's amazing. You know, yeah. so it's, it's really like just appropriation to the um, millionth power in that particular Come movie. Come on, like so bad. She <laughs> made a whole black and face. So happy and- she was proud of it. That's the part. But so, again, so I know you were trying to figure out, like, first of all, I just felt like it was too much. But I was thinking it could be for, like, a film like that. Like, it could, like, you know, I could see Jordan Peele oh, okay. doing that. Because that is mean? very, like, movie set It was makeup. very it was serious. Very but I would, maybe we do need to do research to figure out what the backstory of that is to see if we should be mad or not. But you know what? A side note before, uh, which, uh, we started a little later, so I guess we can go a little bit. But um, there was, like, back in the day, mm-hmm. it, it wasn't so offensive to have people in not not just straight out blackface, but I'm just thinking about movies that I was that I used to love, and I can't remember what this movie was, but this man was just as a black man the whole time, and I loved that movie. Watermelon Man. It might have been Watermelon Man. Where the man. guy wanted to get the black scholarship. I might have so, been that. He I forgot it's another name of the movie. But and yeah, there, there's he had something. A fro and yes. Huh? What'd you say? Soul Man. It might be Soul Man, but anyway, it was a thing back in the day where yeah. it was like. You yeah. did like people did that. Well, I think yeah. that's because they didn't hire black people, right? No, <laughs> no it wasn't well, that far oh, back. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the movie was to make fun of it, right? But anyway, yeah. so I'm just saying. But now it's like everything. I think is people, I think we're them. just more liberal and speaking out on stuff. Yeah, than we, you know, I think we used to be a little passive on stuff that would kind of bothered us. And and we didn't have social media like this. Yeah, where we see it all like it's right in your face. In it would be face. a movie. I might see that movie. I may not see that movie. So I'm not <laughs> reminded that somebody did right. something real stupid. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So anyhow, modern day black play. Stop it. Just stop it. Mm-hmm. Just leave the black face so alone. Period. <laughs> okay, number four on our top five. You doing too much moments of the week list? Not I'm calling. Right. <laughs> I'm calling it. Uh, or number two. Sorry, mm-hmm. you're right. Thank say you. We should be deeper. Yeah, it's number two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling it uh, surgery stupidity, or maybe I should call it surgeon stupidity. Um, mm-hmm. And so this story is based around a surgeon. I think we have a video that might be showing. But anyway, there's a, a surgeon that had some kind of a court case or something where he had to dial in on Zoom. Um, and he li- there's the, the, the court, the, the, the judge. Mm-hmm. There's also another person on the line, too. And then it is the, um, the surgeon. And I'm saying the, sur- the, the only reason why we know his profession <laughs> is because he's literally in the doing surgical the surgery. room doing surgery oh, on a body. Surgery. And the judge is, even, is, like, listening to whatever the dude is saying. And he's, like, looking down and, like, you can hear, like, the little clanging of the little surgical oh, tools. Yeah. And he's like, well, no, I'm, do-, you know, pretty much like, no, nah, I multitask. And the judge is like, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Like, I'm not comfortable. Like, is this even ethical? Right. <laughs> like, you know what? You're just guilty because you did this. Yeah. So whatever I mean, the thing. I think it is some kind of violation of the HIPAA mm-hmm. law. You know what I mean? Like it probably is. It just was, it was, it was horrible. So that surgeon was absolutely doing too much. And we going to keep moving just to make sure we hit not too far after the 8 o'clock hour. Number one on mm-hmm. your top five you doing too much mm-hmm. moments of the week. 
I'm calling it a negative stimulus. Mm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> this is so sad. Yeah, it's, it is very sad. And so the reason why I'm saying that is because everybody's so yeah. excited about the stimmy. Everybody's excited about the stimulus check. <laughs> Let me get my stem. And then there's a, okay. <laughs> so that's how they feel. And people are losing their everlasting minds. Yes. yes. Just yes. like they did over the Popeye chicken sandwiches oh, in full I, fight. I'm, I'm still not over that. I'm still not I'm, over I'm not over You know I'm, what I'm scares me is that, let's say, how many ever years down the line where we actually get our reparations, like our 40 you know, Man, acres in a mule? Them. But like if we did, <laughs> just imagine how people are tripping out over this. Ooh. If we got all of that, people wouldn't Ain't know how to act. That's why they ain't getting it. But that's what we build your own. Uh, oh, my goodness. And so, anyway, it says, say what now? Here's the thing. So this is the serious tip. Four murdered, y'all. Yes, yes. Including a child. Oh, I didn't uh, know a child. Following yeah. argument over a stimulus check. Mm. And look at the people. But what's to argue about? Don't everybody get their own? Baby, that's, I don't even know. Was, why does the second dude look like a little superhero? I Unless can't. you know there were kids involved and you have to split it. Like, oh, you finna give me half because that's my child too that, kind there of situation. Is. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I just. That's too much. Just, wow. That is sad. Like, that's. It's not that deep. It's, it, and here, here's the other part. It's, it's only $1,400, people. I know, listen, $1,400 would people. bless my life, okay? I'm not even downplaying it. <laughs> Actually, on a side note, on a little bit of a lighter note, oh, there was a... Look weird? I know, we do look a little strange. But on a little bit of a lighter note, some of these stimulus uh, memes have been quite hilarious because there was All this of one them. that <laughs> I saw that said, they, they said uh, stimulus check hits me at SeaWorld. How much for their freedom? Okay. Okay. I was like, like oh, you, that, was that would be me. Listen, <laughs> like, somebody said at the Miller Stadium, like, change the name back. Okay. Okay, because <laughs> I'm not you know calling it whatever you've called it now. Was it Johnson and American, American Family? Family. Change American the name family. Back. And insurance. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyhow, y'all, like, calm down over this money. And I don't know, again, I don't know the exact, like you said, we're trying to figure out why Why did anybody die. But what mm-hmm. he said makes sense because oh, you yeah. do get extra for having kids. Oh, so they get it. So, so if, I, if that's my child and you the mama. Right. And you know, because it, it they got love to go a to one handout. Account. Y'all, listen, black people, put, put the handouts. Right, you especially know, if you ain't even been in a child's life. You okay, ain't did nothing all this year. Am I splitting this with you? You claimed it on taxes last year, so actually... It's, it's my turn. Out. Right, yeah, no. It's yeah, my I year. mean, any honestly, I will be, will be very happy if and when I ever get a stimulus check because I haven't gotten one yet. Oh, you touch know? it. Oh, <laughs> I, I ain't get the none, 600. Like none? No, well, oh, I did. One, one that was yeah, the first one. Yep, that was mailed to me, and I was like, blood. It's coming Lord. on your taxes. Yeah, I, w- which oh, I just need to file a sap. Same. Same, But. The thing is, the issue that I really have is just like, y'all, like, I know we want the government to give us stuff, but just listen, just relax. Just, just relax. relax. Act like you ain't never had no money. What? I ain't never, right, that's the that's the thank you for saying that, DJ Lee. Because that's the part. Act, you people people are acting like they, they never had anything. Like okay. I mean, most people haven't had ha, don't get a thousand dollars at one time. Yeah, I guess you know. A thousand dollars that you don't have to pay back. You know what I mean? If people are getting a thousand fourteen hundred dollars at a time, it's usually a loan. Wow. Mm-hmm. The average person. So right. if I'm getting it all, at think about it's stimulus and taxes and pay all it money I don't got to pay back. Nothing, money I ain't have to do nothing for. I don't know. So I'm telling people are in the mall. This like, is why they killing people. Crazy, yeah. And so that's your top five. You doing too much mo- moment of the week? Because I found myself <laughs> starting to get a little upset. All right, number five, women of war. <laughs> number four, pronouns. Okay, woo, she, he, they. Uh, number three, modern day blackface. Please stop. Mm-hmm. Uh, number two, uh, surgeon stupidity. My God, sir, maybe you need another profession. Okay. Right. Um, and number one, negative stimulus. Like, yeah, let's 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 change our energy on that one. And so before we end the show, we have our uh, our normal king. Kingdom solution where we try to wrap everything back up. I'm gonna talk to Stephen. You got something? Oh yeah. Okay, come on with it. <laughs> uh, Luke chapter 15, verse oh. 24. For this, my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Wow. And they began to be merry. And I know the theme was not being lost. Yes. And I mean, it's that joy when you find stuff. Like sometimes you have to be reminded how how wealthy or worthy something is. And the only way you know is if you lose it. Wow. Like, I know the lady was talking early when she lost her voice for a period of time. Oh, that's good. It's like, but when she got it back, she learned to utilize it, like, forcefully. Like, yes. to get connected with other people. I got God with me. Yeah, And that's, yeah. The, that's the attitude we got to have. Like, period. I'm not lost. 
wow, <laughs> I'm not lost. It's not lost. It's not you know, lost. and when it comes back, it may come come back to you. Uh, and you have another appreciation for it that you didn't have before. I for think sure. that's absolutely amazing. This is why I love the Saved in the City uh, radio show crew. They know how to pick it up when I put it down. Okay. okay. <laughs> I love it, and I love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back next Friday and every Friday right here on WGLB 1560, 96.1 FM, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. We'll see you next week. <laughs>